Hi guys, how are you all doing? I am doing great. Today we are going to be talking about the masters at King's College London. So let's get started and spill some beans. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rakhi Krishna. I am going to be talking about my masters at King's College London. So before that, let me just give you a background of who I am and what did I do in my previous course. So I have done a six years long, very infamous course in India called the PharmD. PharmD is like a six years post graduation course which goes in length and breadth of pharmacy. So the first three years are uh, solely dedicated to very pharmacy related um, courses, um, subjects like uh, pharmaceutics, pharmacology, and organic chemistry, organic chemistry. And uh, so you kind of know everything about how to make a drug, how to analyze it. And the next three years is basically hospital based where you train to become a clinical pharmacist as well as understand the pharmacoepidemiology and the therapeutics. So you go in uh, to two different or you go through two different vibrant uh, stages while you're there in this course. I happen to do this course in a very fine school, uh, college in India uh, and particularly in my hometown Kerala. So in this uh, college happened to um, have this kind of clear division where we had this three years in college and three years in the hospital. In the hospital, we were able to go in, uh, in rounds with the healthcare professionals, be interacting with the patients every day. We could give our uh, interventions, provide this um, recommendation to the patients in one-to-one -one interactions and uh, we even had the opportunity to write prescription which was great for us and we 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 could learn so much when we were there for farm tea so i i had done that course and i think that this is the best course which goes goes through and takes you through a journey in pharmacy and uh, i had a few publications uh, when i was there in the co course and uh, overall so this background of PharmD was really helpful after PharmD uh, I got into a CRO. CRO is a clinical research organization as a junior uh, scientific writer so where I mainly dealt with medical reviewing of various uh, projects that were provided by various big pharma companies even though I was in a very junior role I happened to have uh, have interactions with the hierarchical um, people within the hierarchy of that company and uh, even though I was very new and it was a very new thing to have a exposure into a corporate company the company was really good and they accommodated me really good and I learned a lot even though I couldn't complete one year in there but um, the journey was really good and I happened to learn so many things coming to the course which I wanted to take in my master's again. So there was this question like after I had completed my post graduation, why do you want to do a master's again? But I had a very clear thought process where I had a sketch of what a PharmD could do after completing the course. So as a PharmD, we could go into research uh, and or maybe we can assist the research as a clinical research coordinator or go into academia, uh, do a PhD and then as a lecturer, professor or the third we can do is we can become a registered pharmacist which we already are in a country or maybe we can go to other countries like Australia, UK, um, uh, US, uh, Canada and we could write the uh, exams there and pass the pharmacy examinations and become a registered pharmacist in that particular country as well. Uh, fourth is to become uh, to get into a pharmaceutical company uh, like the core companies which produces the uh, drugs or the vaccines or anything. And the fifth point could be the way you can go into a CRO, clinical research organizations, which does the most of the research works for these core companies. Um, so there you can go into a pharmacovigilance industry, a pharmacovigilance department, or you can go for the um, CRA positions, that is a clinical research associate positions, 
go into medical writing and medical communications so and the sixth and the most most vibrant and thing is to join as a clinical pharmacist which is a hospital based hospital oriented um service with, that you do within the healthcare community itself so we have so many so many options and out of that i had a very clear goal a career goal and i had devised it like throughout the uh, journey of pharmacy and work and uh, i had that in mind and i i want i went through a research process of the lengths and breadths of what i could do uh, how can i get there and i i finalized into getting a masters which solely focused on that and uh, i kind of concluded that yeah this is the course that i want and i found that this course was particularly offered in a particular country in a particular college and it happened to be kings college london uh, which is a research group uh, college and uh, they offered a one year a uh, specific course which was found only in this uh, which was provided by only this college uh, in uk so that was about it i was i was really attracted to it because of its curriculum and uh, how 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 it could be the more application of whatever we had learned uh, in the pharmd and i kind of i kind of thought yeah this was the course that i want so uh, i chose that so how what was the requirements the requirements included the academic transcripts that you have to submit uh, yeah, so i had i had my um, all the original uh, uh, academic stuffs with academic uh, uh, certificates with me uh, the college actually required ielts so it they specified to have it in the score of 6.5 for all the four crit- um, bands of criteria so that was one the second requirement third is the lor that is a letter of reference that you can either get it from your principal or from the departments uh, that you have worked in i got it from a department where uh, i had done my project and uh, the doctor there was very kind enough to provide me my principal as well both of them had provided uh, the letter of reference the fourth point which is the most important point of all this is the sop the sop letter is where uh, you have to like show what you are as a person what you aim to become and uh, so that is a full coverage story of everything you need to emphasize more on that so which i did and uh, uh, i kind of wrote about what my background was and uh, what are my interests and long term career goals and why am i choosing this particular course why in this particular university and in this country so you have to like say the whole thing in as a story which becomes more interesting while you read as well as you kind of share the story as well so sop is very very important so these are the uh, few requirements that you need to have there are people who ask me like did you submit your cv yes i did submit my cv as well as the publications because i didn't have any other place to upload them you can do that as well so uh, these are about the requirements that i had uh, talking about the course that i chose it is msc medical affairs it is a one year course that you have to do in uk uh, i'm based in london so since it is london it has this multicultural and uh, diversity that you ha- you can have it helps you to grow Uh, intellectually as well as critically analyze and meet new people learn their culture and it it kind of helps you grow and uh, my classes are like uh, once every one one week every month and all the other three weeks i have uh, that those are solely dedicated for reading uh, writing the assignment practicing for the mcq having tutorials which are conducted every monday and uh, thursday so it's like fully packed and very intensive and application of whatever uh, was done as my pe- previous background it kind of helped me uh, channelize smoothly uh, it uh, also um, being in uh, uk uh, you are allowed to work for 20 hours a week but right now i'm not working uh, i wanted to focus more uh, mostly on my course because it's just one year course but even if it is just one year course it is very intensive it is tight packed and you need to be having this full on attention into it so i'm not working but you can work as a part in part time so um yeah um 
yeah that's it that's 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 the few things that uh, um that i had to share uh, while getting into a masters at king's college london so i don't know what what has worked out for me i just thought i could share this uh should i share this experience and my background maybe it it would be helpful for you guys uh, so i'm not sure if this is a trial and error method i'm not sure what is going to come out of it i'm just following following the flow and if you guys are interested to uh, like um, join my flow and if you guys want to know more about few things and uh, let's share and discuss you can join and uh, we will be happy um, to answer all the questions or the comments that you have and i will be planning to do more videos about uh, abroad studies as well as careers not only in pharmacy but including um, in various other courses as well so uh, if you guys like it uh, just wait for um, i think i'll be having more videos coming up and i don't want to say this very cliche thing like share and subscribe <laughs> if you guys like it do like share and subscribe okay bye <laughs>